Tom Cruise turned 60 on the 3rd of July. Over the past 20 years, the actor has risked his life many times by performing dangerous stunts on the set of an action franchise about Special Agent Ethan Hunt. With each new film in the series, Cruise raises the stakes, as a producer comes up with more and more dangerous and risky tricks, and as an actor he performs them himself with great pleasure. And I will tell you about these tricks in this video. The first mission not only laid the foundation for a successful franchise about Special Agent Atani Hunt, but also opened up a world of extreme and dangerous for Tom Cruise. Of course, in the context of trickery and action, the first part is much inferior to the subsequent ones, but nevertheless, even then Cruise began experimenting with his body and its capabilities. Let's start with the most seemingly simple trick. Cruise, Rope, Acrobatics. Viewers will watch this combo throughout the entire movie series, starting with the episode of the robbery of the CIA headquarters in the first part. And the tank ant must get into a securely guarded bunker with an advanced security system. During the task, you cannot touch the floor in any case, otherwise the alarm will go off, which means that the only option is to go down from above. The plan is as reliable as a Swiss watch. The agent is tied to the cable, and the partner slowly lowers it. Naturally, the mission cannot pass without a hitch. Suddenly, the rope slips out of the hands of the belaying colleague. The hero is rapidly flying face down, fortunately, he lands in time a centimeter from the floor with his limbs stretched out to the sides. It would seem that what is difficult here. The rope was tied, people from above control the process, you don't have to do anything special yourself. But hanging upside down for several takes and even more so maintaining balance when falling is not as easy as it may seem at first glance. Not to mention the fact that with such a sharp decrease there is a risk of injury. Cruz hit the floor twice in a row until he guessed to balance the weight with a handful of coins in his shoes. As an ardent supporter of realism, the actor can be proud of himself, the deflated vessels on his head and face look very eloquent. In the following parts, this acrobatic trick with falling to the ground was repeatedly played out and became a calling card in the entire series. After an epic motorcycle race in the finale of the second part of the mission, a dangerous fight on the sand begins between Hunt and the main villain. The matter is not limited to fists, the opponent pulls out a knife and begins to deliver dangerous blows. At some point, Ethan falls on his back, almost losing an eye, stopping the knife a few millimeters from the cornea. So imagine how crazy you have to be to agree to shoot a scene with a real knife and put your pupil under the tip. The scene was filmed like this. A cable was attached to the handle of the knife, its length was calculated in advance so that after the swing it stopped a couple of millimeters from the target. The close-ups of the episode are impressive, but it was worth risking your eyesight for the sake of a convincing picture when you could overlay one frame on another during the montage. However, no one forced Cruz to go under the knife. He just wanted to be as believable as possible, even if it cost him an eye. In the third part, Special Agent Hunt goes on a mission to Shanghai. There he jumps from a skyscraper, but due to insufficient height he has difficulties with a parachute. Cruz actually performed the trick himself, but the scene was shot on a green background in the studio and with insurance, so from the point of view of risk and danger, it is not so remarkable. But what happened right after is already more interesting. After an unsuccessful landing, Hunt falls onto the roadway and sees a huge tanker truck in a skid rushing at him. The actor was really lying on the road, and a huge truck with a trailer was dragged right over him, and this without a backup and computer graphics. The hero is picked up by colleagues on a crossover and together the squad tries to break away from the angry Shanghai guards. According to the scenario, Cruz had to lean out of the passenger seat and shoot back from his pursuers a few centimeters from the asphalt. And again, no stunt double, visual effects and tricks with static platforms. The chase was filmed right on the road, one speed bump and everything could have ended badly. The camera was driving right behind the car and filmed the actor's face so that the audience would not doubt, this is really everyone's favorite volume. For the sake of filming the episode Underwater Robberies in the fifth part of the mission, the actor learned to hold his breath for six minutes. Cruz trained with freediving specialists and mastered a technique that allows you to use less oxygen. Hunt had to go inside the underwater data warehouse without having access to air. This is one of the most impossible missions in the history of the film franchise. At a depth of several meters, the hero has to fight with powerful streams of water and underwater structures, which constantly interfere with the task. The initial three minutes are not enough, 
Khan loses consciousness and almost dies. The whole episode was shot in one take in a tank 6 meters deep, but the scene was cut during the installation. Inserts with other characters made the episode more dynamic, but the trick eventually lost the lion's share of realism. The episode of the mummy with the crash of a military aircraft was created not in the pavilion, but at a real altitude of 7 kilometers. To do this, the film crew rented an Airbus A310 Zaruti aircraft, which made four flights in two days. The 22nd scene where the hero of Cruz turns over in the air was filmed during a state of weightlessness. He insisted on working at a height and did 64 takes. Most of the crew was throwing up. Actress Annabel Wallace talked about Cruz's preparation. He didn't throw up, and I was happy that Tom was there to hold his hair if necessary. During the filming, Wallace and Cruz felt a lot of pressure on their bodies and received bruises. You can argue for a long time who is cooler, Tom Cruise or Jackie Chan, but for a more objective comparison, watch another video about the most dangerous tricks of Jackie Chan and Wright who is still cooler. Well, if you didn't have enough of Cruise's tricks from this issue, then fly to my first video about his tricks, I assure you, you will be surprised by this guy. And that's it for me. Don't forget to like, click on the bell and subscribe to the channel. See you all soon.